Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to use our calendar overlays in Photoshop. Um, so we're just going to start with this. Um, this is from our Sports Silhouette series and I think it lends itself pretty well to making a calendar stamp down below. Um, so let's go ahead and open up one of our 2019 calendar stamps. Just take a minute here to find it. Okay, so you can see that we've got 10 different um, stamps to choose from. So you're just going to look to see, you know, which one will um, fit best in your area. Um, I tend to like the thinner ones here, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up this one right here. And as you can see, there's a checkerboard um, uh, background to it. Um, this is a PNG file. The checkerboard represents transparency, which means you can uh, lay this over anything. And that's what we're going to do in the template. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have my Move tool selected, which I do. I'm going to click on my calendar stamp. I'm going to drag it up to my template and then drop it in on the canvas. And you can see that it is here. It's on the topmost layer, so I'm going to go ahead and just name that calendar. just so that I know for myself. Um, the next thing I'm going to want to do, since I know that we're going to drag that um, down in this area, we're going to want to turn that white or, or lighter color. So um, very important, turn on, uh, I'm sorry, select your calendar layer, and then I want you to lock the transparent pixels. What that allows you to do is fill anything um, on this layer that is not transparent. So it'll turn everything black here white. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to choose white, and then you can do edit, fill, and you can fill it with, you can, your choices are all here, uh, I'm going to fill it with white, even though I did have it chosen as my foreground color. So there you go. I'm going to zoom on this a little bit because we're going to want to come in and um, size this now. So let's bring it down here, uh, let's see if we can see one corner of it first. Um, Control T on your keyboard will transform your image. And what we want to do is hold down the Shift key while dragging any one of these four corners um, so that we can sh um, size it proportionally. I'm going to pull from this side because I've already got the other side sort of lined up. And once that looks pretty good, just to enter on your keyboard. And then let's zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, so. We don't want it to be too close to the edge because if people do want to sort of frame these posters, you want to make, just make sure that you, you have it in enough. Um, and I'd say this is just about done. Now, if you wanted to experiment, um, maybe you wanted to take this, this yellow color in here and not do the white, that's okay. Go grab your eyedropper tool. You can click on it. I'll make it a little more yellow. That's a little bit more yellow so that you can just see the change. And then we're going to fill this with foreground color. And you'll see how that changes to more of the yellow down there. So you can experiment with these. They're really, um, really simple to use and um, enjoy making some great creations in 2019. Mm -hmm.